Good morning, everybody. I'm welcome to the this in the morning. 15 minutes to change our lives. Look at the difference. The next section. Let's go. Okay, this is the next part of the Sikha. So, um, hey. So now I think we've learned this expression is about the famous Yosef, the riveting story with Yosef. Well, who is Yosef? He's very beautiful. He would, he would uh, play around with his hair, he would fix his hair. Because of this, it is the Aishas of the wife of his master, Mini Poitipa, she starts to uh, get interested in him. To the extent that she needs the master, he and ultimately he gets into jail for this. Even when, and even when he's in jail, um, whatever he does there, Hashem makes him successful. So we all know, Yosef, he gets sold by his brothers. And then he ends up finding himself in, in Mitzrayim. He gets sold to Petifar's house. He walks over there. And then his Petifar's wife starts to get interested in him. And he, know, and he gets in trouble. And he gets sent to jail. But everything, but, but the whole process, it says in the Apostle, it says everything, Hashem makes it successful. He, Yeshev story, like it's a very interesting like a story of Yaakov. On one hand, it's very rough. He sold from his father's house, and he has to go back to him. He goes into trying up, and, and he goes into jail, and he plays to his house, and he has all these issues. But on the same hand, he's very successful. There's two, there's two differences in the story. On one hand, that in regards to Yosef, what is the same? That he's very beautiful. And to the wife of Petipa, there's two, there's two opinions. In the end, so there's, there's Petipa and there's Yosef. Now, what's the raw for us? Two these two different different ideas. Everything is this this nagus this is teaching us, it's going to teach us how to learn daily life. As we've said many times, and as we'll continue saying it, as the Rebbe is, because the Rebbe is saying it, so that everything we learn to is for a lesson, is, is meant to learn out lessons from, from for our lives. So it's a lesson of the story of Yosef, and Yosef playing with his hair, and he's successful, and pretty for his wife, and she coming after him, what's the whole story of So let's see, Bob. The guy with Yosef, it says, Yosef, when he's born, what does uh, Rachel say? Then Hashem added me another son. Kudush is Admir, Tzartedek, Mepharsh. So what does Tzartedek explain on this? What, 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 what's the really underlying message over here? Shavadosh HaYesef HaYisa L'Aseis Es HaAcher L'Ben. Kalem L'Aseis Bali Tshuva. Is that what does it, what does it say? V'Yesef HaVai Li Ben Acher. Hashem adds to me another son. So Tzartedek says, don't, don't read it. It's ben Acher, meaning another son, but from the Acher to a Ben. The Yosef's, Yosef was a, was a Shriach, and he was transformed. He was Mikbal Chubas. The Yosef, Hakoya, Hadarus, the Shemka. For Yosef was a special person, he had this ability. Yosef is very beautiful. What does it mean, very beautiful? It doesn't mean, of course. And this is a very important point when you learn something in Torah. Just because it, it talks about things that seem similar to our realm of reality, it doesn't mean it is the same. Like when we see Yosef was uh, beautiful, it doesn't mean... <laughs> now, of course, in the simple shots, you can't take out the simple shot from the pasuk. But we also have to realize there's a deeper thing to this. It's not just look beautiful. You know, oh, Yosef was very beautiful. Yosef played around his hair. So yeah, on the, on the simple shot, yeah, but but as we've gone before, and as some teachers us that whatever's happening, you know, it must be depth to them. So what's the depth of this idea? 
כן, והיה לקח את יש השם כך שכן הוא עצמו היה פתאום יפה מהר, יש את זה ביורפו, רוצים לדבר ביורפו, הוא היה יפה, הם מצווי סאסי והם מצווי סאסי. בואו נתן פוזיטיב מצווי, בואו נתן נגדיב מצווי. סטיין ווי פון מרי מצווי, הוא היה מאוד גוד, והוא היה מאוד ביורפול, והוא היה מאוד מצווי. כמובן, 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 And Yafi Mara is very beautiful in his appearance. He means the Lais Asa. Whatever, but the point is, we see here in different places that these two descriptions of Yasef is really referring to Mitzvah Asa and Mitzvah Lais Asa. So, if you look at that form, Haya, Bibshar Yusle, Lashpia, Gamal, Acherim, Lafoyach, Me Ach, and Leven. Yasef had the ability to transform an Acher to a Ben. There, you're all the Acher. This is the lesson for all of us. Shari, you're all the Acher, and you're all the Acher. That we have to realize that it wasn't for us, that we have to work not just with ourselves, but with the other. Allah is a cloud when it comes to being hashba, being mashbia to others, it's understand the general principle. Um, Fix yourself, and I self, and I'll have other, and, and after to have it. Meaning, a lovely yes, I'll be tell you, 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 we have to be beautiful, and then we can follow it to other people. Meaning, meaning, we learn from Yosef, that Yosef was beautiful, and really, like it says, he was able to take the Ben Acher, the Acher, and turn him to a Ben. Yosef was able to be, make more truths, but how? It's because he was beautiful in his terminus. Meaning, And, and, and there was a word to learn from this, that in order to be able to mashpia on someone else, we have to be mashpia on ourselves. You can't be mashpia on others without being mashpia on yourself. Meaning, meaning trying to work on yourself. Trying to be better. Trying to be better on your chain mitzvahs. You can't come to a person, you know, trying to work on yourself, and then you're going to train and transform them. It doesn't work. It's... You know, we can fake it a little bit, but, not, but, but after a while, the person will realize, hey, you're not really holding them. That's what he's saying. That's what we're learning over here. The Ein Pirush Adava, Sheish Adam, the Hamtin, the Tipul, the Acha, the Acha, Ad Shegia, who Atmoi, the Sia Shlimus. We're not saying that, we're not saying that you have to wait till you're perfect. That's all we're talking about. It means doesn't mean that you don't have to you have to wait to be perfect. It means that you should that but it doesn't mean you have to wait to wait to your perfect, but it means you have to go straight away have to help. But together with that, you have to be working on yourself. אך מצד שני, אללה לזכור שהוא חייב לטפל גם בעצמו. אבל אנחנו חייבים להיות יותר טוב לעבוד עם עצמו. לסעק אין עצמו חיסון עצמו, הוא חייב לעבוד עם עצמו, מה שאנחנו חייבים לעבוד עם עצמו, תיקון החיסון עצמו מעל אסנטיאל אישים, הם חשוב, לא רק לעצמו, כי אם גם לשם אחרים. לעצמו עם עצמו, לא רק לעצמו, אלא גם לעצמו, אלא גם לעצמו, אלא גם לעצמו. And that's what we're saying. We're saying, on one hand, you have to be working on yourself. And together with that, help someone else. But it's not going to help working on someone else and trying to macabre someone else and try to inspire someone else if we're not trying to inspire ourselves, not trying to work on ourselves and trying to, try to take care of what we're, we're lacking. Yeah, I think it's important not just for ourselves, but for someone else. שכן, כשיש לאדם מגר אייס, שאין אייס, ציק נאייס, אין לאדם פרובלם. אין לאדם פרובלם. חש בהן השני, לאדם פרסון ספק, פיל, פיל סמתינג. ואין יכול איפה להשפיע עליו ומידע דרשה. ואין לאדם יכול להשפיע עליו ומידע דרשה. ואין לאדם יכול להשפיע עליו ומידע דרשה. ואין לאדם יכול להשפיע עליו ומידע דרשה. יש אם כן לאחין, אם כן להקיוס גדל אחריוס לסיכון החיסון הזה עצמם 
שכי כשאין לא יסכים לכך גרם עם נזק גם אחר. therefore we're talking ourselves because if we learn then it affects the other person. יש להש השקיע מאמצים גדלים ליוש יופי יותר ויופי מהר שכן המדובר לא ביחד כי אם רבים Beautiful. So basically what we're saying is that that on one hand you have to you have to you have to transform in the process of trying to transform um ben acher, uh, ben acher to a ben meaning I try to have an effect on the surrounding which is an important part of our lives we've talked about this before to being the the giving hashpa the people around you whether it's you know in in any way that you can find that that you you're able to do the first we have to realize we have to have an ashpa in the surrounding we have to affect the people around us whether it's smiling people or saying good morning whether it's saying uh, have a good day do a mitzvah let's say apostle let's give out shabbos candles whatever it is whatever way you're going to find that you're able to affect the surrounding could be being a teacher and whatever whatever contact you have with with people outside of you they and you're you're trying to make a positive influence it's important, but it's only going to work is if you're working on yourself as well. Yosef was able, and the lesson that we're learning from Yosef, Yosef was able to affect the people around him because he was beautiful in his time, because he himself was working on himself. And this is this is what we're learning from this. And we're saying that's why the Rebbe says the so, so so strongly that if that it's that you have to do this not just for yourself, which seemingly I have to work on myself. What we're saying is, hey. I have to go, basically we're saying in civil English, I have to go get up, I have to dive in, I have to learn, I have to make sure to eat properly, I make sure to get proper sleep, I have to make sure to treat people nicely, I have to make sure to dive in and connect myself. Why? Not just so I'm connected, because how am I going to be able to affect all the people that I'm meant to be affecting if I myself am not, not connected? So therefore, you're, you're living your life not just for yourself, you're living your life for the people around you. It's a, it's a powerful idea. We're not focusing on ourselves for ourselves. We're focusing on ourselves for the other. That, that I need to learn a, a vibe to share when I when I see someone on the street, when I see my friends, you know, and I need to be inspired. So then when I come see them, I get them inspired. And and, and the way you think about everything is in that in that terminology. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll try to pound through it and uh, finish off this sikha. Hope everyone has a great day. Everyone realizes the responsibility they have and and take that seriously in a seriously positive way. Have a great day.